Florida. Thanks. I'm ready to thump some gators. <laughs> Kaboom! Yeah. Boom. Hey y'all, get settled in. I'm taking you on another adventure with the Killer Curtis family. Now, Holly and Kinley booked this gator hunt with G3 Outfitters last year as a Christmas gift for Caleb. Fast forward nine months and we are all checked in to this beautiful home at the OK Corral in Okeechobee, Florida and are now en route to meet up with Brad, the owner, guide, and fantastic human being at G3 Outfitters. Gator hunting, you ready? Yep. Did you just have a ring pop? Yep. What color was it? Blue. <laughs> I see some residual blue. Looks nice on you. How big a gator you want to show me with you on? Bigger. That's, that's a huge one. Double that? Oh, yeah, I want it as long as this boat. Everybody's fired up and ready to go. Kinley's got her glasses on and we knew we had a big weather storm coming in. So we sat in the truck for about 45 minutes, let it blow over, threw on a bunch of rain gear and off we went for our very first look at Okeechobee gator hunting. On our very first stop, within five minutes of being at the location, Brad had glassed up a great big gator. We all got a look at him. He had a bait in the water. That gator came over, swallowed it, and we were tied into one right out of the gate. Brad and Caleb got Holly all set up. Y'all know the rules, right? Ladies first. Got her set up and that great big gator got up underneath the hyacinths and was getting away. So we pulled the trolling motor in, did everything we could to dig him out. And he just got enough grass around that line where he pulled himself free. Huh? Got himself a free meal. He got away? Yep, a free oh, meal. Man. And that was the end of night number one. Holy heck, y'all we are fired up. Day two. Now real quick, I wanna explain how this all goes down. This is my first time gator hunting, so in no way am I trying to be the authority. I would be an imposter in this space. That being said, almost everyone I talked to since I've been home from this trip was unclear on how it went down. That's why I'm sharing it with you. This resource, meaning alligator hunting in Florida, is highly regulated. There is lottery applications, tags, and tons and tons of ruling built around how you can harvest and all those details. It's very much an aquatic game animal. There is nothing about this that is not above board and well within the law. Something to remember, if you don't manage animals, they don't stand a chance. That's a long topic for a different conversation. The way we hunted these for the first few days was you glass up an alligator, set a bait in his general area, cast to him, drop it alongside the boat, something like that. And then you wait for him to eat this bait. Now there is no hooks in the bait. So you want the gator to swallow it. Once that happens, then you pull a little bit of tension just to pick up the line and get the gator right below the boat. Then you lift slowly, and when you can see the gator, you take a long pole with a harpoon dart on the end, and you try and get it in him. With that barb in there, then he's secure, and that's tied to a line and a buoy. Once he tires some, you lift the buoy, get him in a safe place, and then you hit him with a bang stick. Essentially, it is a submersible pole gun. This process is not easy and it lends itself to all sorts of obstacles. Gator spitting out the baits, tangled or broken lines, lots of vegetation issues, public water boat traffic. It is an absolute blast. Water hunting with a rod and reel minus the hook. Really, the whole thing is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. 
I'm gonna take the rest of this hunt day and just give you a video montage of everything we experienced, the highs and lows, and just please take the time and absorb what is gator hunting on Lake Okeechobee. You right caught him? He peed on me. Nice. <laughs> you gonna cut him loose? Yep. Have fun, bud. Bye. Ooh, we already we already miss you. Ah. Our first evening and our first morning were polar opposites. Wind and rain to still and sunny. Legally, you can only hunt from five in the evening until ten the next morning. So naturally, we called it quits at ten and Brad had set up that airboat ride with his father, and man, was that big fun. Thank you again. Fast forward a few hours, it's five o'clock, and we're back on the water. Miss Kinley, what are we doing? We're gator hunting in Florida on Lake Okeechobee with G3 Outfitters. We are trying to find some more big gators. Uh, we booked this by ourselves for Caleb for Christmas. He didn't know anything about it, and Brad helped me big time. We've seen a pile of gators already. See the one we're gonna Had a few on. We lost a couple. Uh, no hooks. You can't. You can't use hooks here. So uh, it's up to the gator to not spit out the bait. But we're about to get the biggest one yet. Right. Who's getting the biggest one, Mom? I probably yeah. Kenley. <laughs> Knowing her track record. Yeah, Dad will probably get his on the last day in the last minute of daylight. Is that how the typical gifts go, kid? That's how a typical hunt goes. <laughs> Hell yeah. So Jill's you gotta get your money's worth. It's all on you, bro. It's all on me. <laughs> get it. Ten minutes of filming. Brad's got a bait back in the water over the top of a big gator. He swims in, eats it, and we're tied into another one. Now we had a situation where we were feeling like these gators just weren't eating the bait. They typically, to swallow it, will pull their head back and swallow it down. And we just weren't watching these gators do that but there comes a time where you gotta get to them and figure it out. So we move around on the troll motor, get above this gator, and once again, he spit the bait right before we could get a harpoon in him. That's gator hunting. Yes. I don't see him though. He? He got it around his nose kind of. That old gator was trying to get rid of the bait and it had come to the top. We couldn't figure out what was going on and he had that line wrapped around his nose and he was considerably deeper. Uh, it's just fun to see all the obstacles that come into this sport. That night we hunted plumb into the dark. You could hear the bugs, you could hear the animals, you could feel and see the electricity in the air 
And to be real honest with you, I just couldn't get enough of it. We tied into another gator, he pulled off, and the whole thing just become this fantastic challenge of can you get one in the boat. Our last morning was stunning. The water was beautiful, flat, glassy. Brad had us on gators instantly. We had lots of opportunity, lots of interaction. And the truth is we just got the whole experience all in one day. One little detail that I forgot to mention is that the tags are transferable, but the person that possesses the tags has to be in the boat for the harvest. In this case here, Brad's wife, Amy, had the tags and she was with us for the entire trip, sacrificed her entire weekend to be with us. But honestly, she was such a blessing. The girls love having another girl around and it just made the whole thing so much more comfortable. Later that afternoon, we wound up in another spot. We had a gator working. Brad popped the bait twice. The gator came over and got it, and we're tied into another one. We're also racing the clock, because it's about nine o'clock, and we've got to get this all wrapped up before 10. Gator comes off, a lot of times they'll lay on the bottom. So your guide will grab like what I would call a snagging rig and then throw out there and kind of drag through and try and get a hook in him. Brad tried that for a few minutes and it just didn't happen. Being a guide, I can feel the amount of pressure that is on the outfitter. I was so impressed with Brad's demeanor, no matter what happened, all the obstacles, whether it was lying in the prop, gators coming unstuck, any of it. He never lost his cool. He was completely confident the entire trip and it was crazy impressive to me. We have done everything in our power to get this done and the odds weren't stacked on our side. He told us, tonight we go old school. Airboats, harpoons, high speed and headlamps. Get a nap in because we're gonna go hard until we get it done. Y'all, check this out. Hey, is that a big fan of yours? <laughs> Get it? Yeah. Ready to roll. We'll check we're this going, out. Hey, you gotta ask her what's, what's about to right. happen. What's happening? <laughs> we're about to go get her hunting in the airboat. <laughs> what's about to happen? Ready to rock. Let's do this. I don't have my goggles. Wait, hold More on. More peanuts. More so we'll see. <laughs> D walk. Guys, 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 let's do this. Dang! <laughs> Where am I now? Feed me grapes and tell me I'm pretty. <laughs> Y'all, we were so fired up. Just the sound of them great big fan motors is unbelievable. So we had G3 and the Gator Glades boys, two boats we were gonna divide and conquer. And the way this goes is you light up these gators, you see their eyes, make a judgment, and as you fly by, you stick a harpoon in them. From there, you gather them up, bang stick them, and move on to the next. Let's go gator hunting.
You see that there between the eyes? See that there? Yep. Let's. There you go! You had a girl! Woo! I mean, a perfect shot! <laughs> Good <popper>. That's flashing! <laughs> what do you think, kid? I don't know. Why don't you just tell me? How big is he? That big? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. That is a fat gator. <laughs> right next to the ostrich. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, eating the ostrich. Yeah. Coming up. Okay, so don't turn this loose, whatever you do. Okay. When his head's underwater, you okay. see where your daughter shot her the same okay. way. When he's underwater three or four inches, just draw back about that far and just all your might. And right. where am I aiming for? Right between his eyes and about three inches back. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it see up. See his eyeballs? Right there by the back of his oh, head. Right there? Yep, right yep. there. Yep. Good job. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Got him. Pretty work. Look at that fatty right there. We've been dragging around chickens for two days. What the <laughs> heck? Hey, Brad, this is how you do it. <laughs> yeah, a good one right there. How many times on? Just like that? Yep. That just grab under? Yes, ma'am. Just grab the leg right there. Oh, my shit. That's it, man. He should roll right in. High five, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma Neil Bond, you want to take three shots to text it to Caleb? Mm -hmm. Sit on top of him. Perfect. Both girls just got beautiful gators, and so we were back after it. Any time that Justin lifts that harpoon, old lake lizard is in trouble. And I want to show you one perfect example of running and gunning right here. Thunk. Gator on. In classic Curtis family generosity, they tell me, that they had purchased a gator tag for me as well, and I was on deck. Now, being the guy that films it and edits it, you think I could take this part out because I make a terrible showing of bang sticking this gator. Here's my advice. Don't make excuses. Just own it and share it with the world and move on. Oh, hire out, hire out right there. Oh, oh, sorry. I go. It went dark. Pretty sure Kinley banged her totally, better than that. Totally sallied that one. It, it was, Here, Ryan, let me hold your purse. The girls have better performance. <laughs> you got this, Ryan. Okay. One, cut. One, one, one cut. One. Take, take two. Take. There we go. Oops, Good bang, Ryan. Light on. Take you a few tries. Yeah. How much tape do you need? Is that good? Make it look like a Christmas gift. Okay. A little bow at the top. You want a bow? <laughs> that last gator there, the one I had to double punch, he had a big hump on his back, and the boys were saying that he probably got hit by an outboard or something at an early age, and it had healed. He had a big broken back. You know, me and critters, I, I'm fascinated by what they can go through and how they survive. Here's a quick look at these gators back at the processing facility. We had such a fantastic night. We hunted hard for six hours and Caleb just chose not to shoot any one of these gators. Like I said, very generous, very humble individual and there will definitely be a return trip in the making. <laughs> 24 feet. <laughs> And that just warms my heart. Y'all, it was three in the morning and we had to leave for our flights at 6 a.m. So we hurry back to the house, get cleaned up, a quick couple hours sleep, and we're on our way. If you would please, Remove your hat. I'd like to close in prayer. Lord, thank you for this resource. Thank you for the meat to nourish and strengthen our bodies. Thank you for the leather to cover our skin. 
and thank you for the skull that represents the experience and honors the life of that gator. Thank you for new friends, incredible experiences, and for looking over our families while we are gone. And it's in your name we pray. Amen.